what's up traders time for another daily market update so bitcoin is looking very interesting we're breaking range low now the question is will we come down and test range eq let's take a look at the charts and let's find out all right so here's btc usd on binance and the first before i start i just want to give a huge th shout out to uh, prime xpt for helping me out and sponsoring me on this channel Prime XPT is my main exchange where I do all my trading on Forex and the legacy markets and I also do all my scalping on BTC USD on Prime XPT. If you're interested in trying it out, definitely check it out by using the link in this description below. You will help me by doing that and you will also help yourself by doing that. But if, because if you use that link and then use the promo code LIBS42, it's also in the description, they will actually... And give you a 50% bonus on your first deposit. So definitely check that out. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, Bitcoin right here. And if you're wondering what this is, the 786, the 702, and the 618 level, this is the short RLC. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know what this is. I've created a new educational video on the RLC and a new playlist called Learn Technical Analysis. That's the playlist where I will place all my educational material going forward. I want to give you guys uh, around one episode a week where I explain a, 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 a TA concept in a very basic and easy to understand way. Because I really do think that the, the key to trading success is simplicity. And uh, the, 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 the key to my, my trading strategies and my trading success is really keep it simple. So keep it simple guys. If you're just starting out Learn the basics and master the basics before you go into any advanced TA stuff. Because really, you can make a lot of money just shorting resistance and buying support, right? It's just very simple. Horizontal support and resistance level, learn that, master that, and you are a good way to becoming a profitable trader. All right, so uh, we're breaking range EQ, and if you have been following me for a while, you know that uh, I've been looking for the range EQ to break for quite some time now, and I'm looking for a move down to range low. Now, let's add the moving averages here, and you can see that we... Uh, I remember telling you guys that if we get a daily open close above the 21 in a daily, I would become, uh, you know, start to become bullish on Bitcoin for a move higher, especially if we bounce off the 21 in a daily. We never got that bounce off the 21 in a daily. We went straight back down to range EQ, and... It's kind of ironic, like, uh, ironic. It's, uh, Bitcoin really looks strong here with uh, the daily open close about the 21 minute daily, and it's the next candle is straight back to range EQ, and that's when we break range EQ, right? We never broke range EQ here. Bitcoin just had to fuck around with our minds and kind of like show some bearish, you know, bullish market structure and reclaim the 21 minute daily, and then we break range EQ. Like, just wait a minute. I'm just going to do this first, and I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm gonna hunt some longs and I'm then gonna break a range EQ. So we're now seeing a brain, a, a breakdown of range EQ. Uh, if this were the, uh, if this were happening on Monday or Tuesday, I was, uh, would probably have been much more interested in taking a short right now on, on Bitcoin. But with the fact that it's actually the weekend coming up and I don't really like trading on the weekends, I do no trading on the weekend. I try to spend my time with the family and uh, my son, my kids, right? And, uh, uh so i need the higher confirmation here so i'm i'm um, what i'm looking for here is a daily opening close below range eq to confirm it broken but i'm also looking for a breakdown of this level right here so the possible setup would look something like this um breakdown long the retest stop up here take profit down in this area for a two hour trade right that's what I'm looking at Bitcoin. Uh, we break range low. I would probably take 75% profit here. Uh, have 25% open for much lower prices. And those most much lower prices are probably down here. I'm not going to go into, into any details of these levels. I'm only interested today in the most recent price action. And the closest levels to the closest current price. Uh, and that's just this. This is what I'm looking at. Bullish market structure would be confirmed if we reclaim range EQ and close like uh, daily open and close above 9,350 area, something like that. That's just basically everything I wanted to say uh, about Bitcoin today. So let's just jump right into the altcoin dominance chart. I always like to look at the BTCD chart and uh, why is it looking like this? 
moving average should be gone all right so we're seeing a just a beautiful beautiful breakdown of market structure here so we're continuing the daily trend to the downside we're breaking the four hour market structure by breaking below this one we also have a bearish retest this is this means that all coins are still going to be risk on <clears throat> we're most likely going to see some very very nice moves from all coins going forward so be prepared for some nice all coin setups now this is bad ptc we released a setup in in the burbness so definitely if you want the details on this one check out the burbness.com you can find a link in the description below uh, we share all kinds of setups like this one on a daily basis in that group and recently we made a lot of money on these uh, all kind moves so uh, bad ptc is actually bouncing off this horizontal right here i do really 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 really, really want it to come down into this if you want to enter bad ptc at current prices you can enter at current price average your layer bits down for an average entry around that area you could probably use these lows right here as your stop loss or this one uh using this one would give you a pretty bad risk to reward ratio for first take profit and that's i mean that's 1.33 36 it's still going to be a plus one r trade for the first take profits i mean it's acceptable um but that's just an idea to work with if you're looking to enter enter bad ptc this bounce isn't looking too bad honestly i want to take a look at bread btc too <clears throat> i've entered bread btc sure hope this level is going to hold it's looking very very nice but if this one breaks down not looking very good at all again ethereum versus uh, btc um by the way guys if you have any, anything uh, interesting you want me to talk about or if you have any shorting requests or if you have any favorite altcoins you want me to take a look at to make an analysis of just send me a dm if you're, uh, you got me on discord or better yet just comment on this video with a ticker or whatever and i'll help you out i'll do the analysis in my uh, next market update so ethereum doesn't really seem to break out here right so we got this uh, resistance area right here this uh, red box resistance right here we don't really want to break that area it's confident with the range high of this range on the four hour looks like we're coming back down to range eq and I do like this range EQ. The problem here though is that I, I view this whole area as uh, range EQ because of the fact that price action has been... We've used this box as resistance here, broke through, used it as support. And here price action is just... Price is just bouncing inside this zone. So it's tricky right now for Ethereum BTC. I would not want to trade this range EQ. I would not like to trade inside this range at all i need to see a breakdown of this range or a break out of this range to be interested in a trade on ethereum adx btc uh no follow through i want to see a clear break in mark structure in the low time frame bullish break in mark structure uh let's uh, take a quick look at a couple of forex pairs i want to i wanted to keep this video today as short as possible just because it's Friday, I know you guys probably have better things to do than to watch my updates. So I wanted to keep it simple. <clears throat> and I know that I've, I've, I've told you guys that I want one, one video a week, probably on Sunday or Monday, to be a long one where I do a complete market scan. And the other ones are just going to be short ones that are going to be uh, hopefully just 10 minutes long. Your USD, wrong chart. This is the one that I'm supposed to look at. So, um, I've actually exited the, the, this short at the break even. We came up again and test the weekly 200 simple. We are inside the RLC again. We're using the midpoint of the RLC as resistance. I'm not interested in trading this one right now. It's it's not showing any clear signs right now. Uh, I want to like the next trade on this one, and uh, you know with the weekend coming up, I'm gonna take a closer look at this one on Monday. And uh, I'm going to let price action develop on this one. 
but I do see something interesting here that might happen like <clears throat> if we get a break like if we get a reclaim of the 702 that might be interesting or if we get a uh, breakdown of the 618 that might also be interesting for a possible trade now what else do I want to look at GBP USD now this one um, I'm pretty pissed that I did not buy um, perfect beautiful 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 bearish retest of the 618 uh, conflict with this hot time frame resistance area and uh, we're also close on blood range EQ so yet another very beautiful example of uh, the RLC right the RLC is it's just so important in my analysis and you can really make a lot of money trading off the 618 if you're interested in, in, in the RLC, check out the video I did on the RLC. What else do I want to let, take a look at? So the last one is going to be uh, use the CAD. Where is CAD? Or is the CAD use the? No, use the CAD. <clears throat> All right. Well, this is looking quite good. Looking quite, quite, quite good. I got failed on this one right here. And uh, yeah, beautiful. Just beautiful. We're moving up towards uh, take profit. Um, so yeah, that again. Again, uh, using the long RLC to find uh, a good uh, setup, and uh, yeah, man, it's it's just this uh, beautiful. I've uh, entered a swing trade here on the retest of the midpoint of the bigger RLC and the retest of the six one eight of this uh, smaller RLC, confident with the midpoint of the bigger RLC. So that's in <coughs> RLC inside an RLC. I explain more about that in, in that latest video. You can find it in the playlist, learn technical analysis. And yeah, just uh, getting up towards the breakdown area. Very nice. All right, so that's it. Uh, on Sunday, I will have a live stream where I will do a market scan of the Forex market to find new setups going into next week. Definitely check that out. I will have a link ready uh, on my Twitter. So de definitely check out my Twitter. It's at libs42 on Twitter. And if you're in the bird nest, I will post a notification in my private channel there. And uh, it's probably going to be on Sunday night at around uh, uh, maybe 6 or 7 uh, p.m. UTC. So yeah, get ready for a nice live live stream market scan. You can witness and really sh see how I do my t t TA in, in you know live format and ask me any questions you want. All right, guys. So remember, if you have any questions about anything, just feel free to add a comment and I will help you guys out. Take care, guys. And, and uh, yeah, thanks for all the support. Take care.